All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to take our steel wide flange detail, combine it with the title block for the drawing that we did previously into one layout which is called paper space. We'll scale the wide flange into it. So what I've done is I deleted out the title, the scale, and the date in my title box. So I'll add that for each drawing. I'll be able to reuse this over and over again. So let's go to draw, block, and make. So we're going to turn this into something we can use over and over again. I'm calling it A size title block. Didn't spell very well. And then I think I'll just pick these things. The base point is where it's going to be pasted into the other drawing. So I'm just going to make it the lower left hand corner. And this is what we're going to uses the block. So I left clicked and I'll left click again, fenced around it. So it should take the whole thing. I hit enter and we'll convert that to a block. Hit OK. There it is. Now we're going to switch to the other drawing and look at layout view. So there it is. Automatically it put that uh, viewport in. We'll look at that again uh, in a minute. First we'll insert the block that we just created. I'll have to look for the file. Let's see, CIE title block, title block. There it is. Hit OK. And it's see how it did that base point is the lower left. So I'll just put it inside the dotted lines as a printable area. Left click once. And now what we're going to want to do is take this viewport and scale it. Right now it's scaled at some weird number right here. But we're going to pull that up and change it. It popped off your screen, but if you go down to the bottom, it's 3 inches equals 1 foot. So now that fits nicely on my screen. And we can measure it with a piece of, with a scale when we get it uh, out on paper. Now all we have left to do is to put the text in. I'll zoom in a little bit with the middle mouse button. And then format text style. Notice that the styles from my my title block that I did last week are still in here. So let's take this 125 annotated and set that to current. Close out of this. And then start drawing by using draw text single line. And start point of text, I think I'll type MC for middle center. Start there and go down. Right there. Hash rotation of zero, and this is a W12 by 190. Hit enter a couple times. Scroll down a little bit. We'll do the same thing with the scale and date. Space bar, MC. Middle point is going to be right about there. Scale in this case is, whoops, got type zero for angle. We keep doing that. Three inches on paper is equal to one foot in reality. And that should work for these wide flanges, which are all about a foot high. Enter a couple times. We'll do the date, and then that should do it. Speaking of textiles, I've set up a little test here for you. If we look at the style. I've got two different styles here. One is annotative, one inch. One is not annotative, one inch. And I've drawn some text in each one to sh demonstrate how this works. Let's use modify properties. And if I select one of these, it shows, well, it should show, except it's auto hiding. It shows all the, the properties of it in this box here. I can do the same thing if I pick the other one, except I only want to get one, one at a time. So I hit the escape key. And this one is annotative. Annotative scale one to one. Now let's switch back to layout paper space. And you see that only one of them displays. The reason for that is that the annotative scale is only set at one to one. Now both of them fit in there, but 
but you can hardly see it because you're zoomed way in. How would we make that fit? See how it disappeared? Let's go back to this model and look at the properties of the annotative text. And we're going to click on the annotative scale and add one. It's going to be three inches equals one foot. Hit OK. OK again. And that shows up as an inch on the other page where the layout is. Now you see how it is, but that's actually an inch on the paper. You figure that this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper where the not annotative one stays at whatever size you draw it on the screen. Hopefully that helps with the scaling issues we've had with text so far and illustrates what annotative text is. Wonder when we're going to get some snow. There's Sugarloaf from the Bigelows and Bigelows from Sugarloaf. One last thing, you can use the properties to change the sizes and stuff of these things. If I just properties here, I want to select the text. Actually, I'm in editing mode here now. Select it, and right there, it's set at one inch height. Maybe I want to have it be two inch height. Just click there. You can see how it gets bigger. About half inch height. If you want to change the text itself, you can actually do it in here too. Change the style if you want. Everything you can modify. So that turns out to be pretty handy.